Okay, so this is another video lecture for the uh, Fundamentals of Mathematical Science uh, for the first year sports group. So, uh, we talked about vectors. We said that a vector was a mathematical object that had um, a direction and a magnitude and that we could uh, often represent it spatially um, using, a, say, an arrow and a in a plane, for example, and we uh, looked at the uh, the i, j, and k type vectors um, for three dimensions. So let's say I have the vector. Um, let's say I have the vector i plus three times j. And suppose I have the vector, and this will be 3i plus 2j. Okay? And as we said, we can bring these into the kind of line notation. Uh, sorry, the column notation. This would be 1i, which means I put a 1 here, and this is 3j, which means I put a 3 here. And this is 3i plus 2j, so 3 here and 2 here. And if we want to add these together, okay, okay, What do we end up with? Well, we add the i parts, so there's one i here and three i's here. That gives me a four i. And I have a three and a two, and that gives me a five j. Okay? And that would be uh, one plus three would give me a four, and three plus two would give me a five. And I just want to go back to the graphical representation of that, the kind of picture version of that. Okay. Okay. So let me uh, draw a little picture here. Okay. So. And we'll go one two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to draw in I. I'll draw it in, in, uh, sorry, this first one here, I'll draw this in, in blue, let's say. So it's one in the x direction and three in the y direction. So that makes it right about here. Okay. And again, I'm drawing these freehand, they're not perfect, but, you know, should be good enough to explain the point. Then I have 3, 2, so 3 in the x direction and 2 in the uh, y direction. That's about here. Okay. I'll join those up. Like that. Okay. And when I added these together, I got 4 plus 5. Uh, 4 in the x direction and 5 in the y direction. So 4 in the x direction brings me out to about here and 5 brings me up to here. Like that. And we said that the way we can um, kind of imagine this, okay, um, is that I can uh, let me just take a color have I not used? Maybe we can mark it in black actually. Uh, no, I'll, I'll, I'll mark them in parallel in the, the other colors here. So if we can imagine here, I just have a dotted line here, which is perpendicular, uh, sorry, parallel to the, the green one. And I have a kind of a dashed blue one here, parallel to the blue one we can see that there is uh, this kind of uh, parallelogram nature, okay? And that's the, the parallelogram rule, okay? Let me do uh, a subtraction then, okay? 
So this was my uh, addition. What does subtraction look like? Well, if I have i plus 3j, and suppose I subtract away this one, okay? Okay, what would I end up with there? Okay, well here I would have one minus three would make minus two i. And I would have three minus two, which is one, so just one times a j, okay? And that would be minus two and one. Okay, if I write it in the column notation, okay? So let me draw another picture here of what that might look like. I'm just going to pause for a moment here. Okay, sorry about that brief interruption. I have cats and they were scratching at the door. I think you can just see one of them walk by there. Um, let me draw my picture here. Okay, so I have the same kind of scale. I have um, 1 and 3, so I'm going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and we'll put 5 up there. Okay, and it's not going to be exactly the scale. Again, I'll put 1, 3 in, in the blue dot. Okay, next to a blue arrow, and I draw like that. I have a green one. Okay, which was 2, 3, which was over here. Sorry, 3, 2, which is over here. Okay, and now I want to subtract um, the green one from the blue one. Okay, and where I ended up was minus 2, 1. So if I sketch that in, okay, I ended up with this one here. Okay, which is minus two in the x direction and one in the y direction. And you might say, well, that looks a little bit funny, um, but it's really not, okay? Um, because if I do my uh, line like that, we can see that I have uh, gone in the same direction as the green one, but instead of moving up and over here, I've moved in the opposite direction for the negative. So this is addition. And this is subtraction. Okay, my cat is purring. You can probably hear that. Um, or meowing. But continue. Okay, so that's how I can visualize addition and subtraction, and I have these parallelogram rules, and the parallelogram rules define uh, how these work. Okay, so the next question is um, how long is a vector? Okay, or how long is a vector going to end up being? And this is, is really quite simple. Okay, so this is the idea of magnitude. which you can imagine as the length of a vector. Okay, um, so if V is the vector, Then, if we put a, uh, a bar on either side of it, that means um, is the length of phi, the magnitude of phi.
and there is a pretty simple formula for this, okay, um, and it is based on the Pythagorean theorem, which I will uh, show you here in a moment. Okay, let's say I have a point here, okay, and a vector which is associated to it, and that point is x, y. Okay, that means that's my x coordinate, and that's my y coordinate, and I have a right angle there. Okay. How can I work out the length of the, the vector? And the formula is actually pretty easy, okay, um, because it comes from this Pythagorean theorem, which I'm sure a lot of you are already familiar with. Okay, so how do I do it? Well, I'll give this a name. I'll give this the formula, give that the name V there. Okay, V with an arrow on it to say that it's a vector. Well, then the length of V, okay, um, V is the, the angle here. Okay, well, by the Pythagorean theorem, the square of the hypotenuse, which is the length of V squared, has to be equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So that has to be my x squared plus my y squared. Okay, so if I want... just the length of the vector and not the length of the vector squared, I just take the square root. Okay. Uh, my cat wants to go back outside again. I'm going to pause again. Okay, sorry about the interruptions. Um, let's, uh, um, okay, so if this is if the vector v here is equal to x times y, sorry, x, y in a column form, which is the same thing as x times i plus y times j. Okay. And in 3D, the formula is almost exactly the same in three dimensions. If V is equal to X, Y, and Z, which we've seen we can write as X times the I and Y times the J and Z times K, okay, then the length of V is almost exactly the same thing. It's X squared plus Y squared, and it's plus Z squared, and you have to take the square root of the whole thing. Okay, so we'll do a couple of examples. Those are fairly uh, simple um, to do. Um, Remember that you can use the square root function on your calculator. It's not, uh, it's not a very difficult uh, formula to use. So we have an example here. So find the magnitude. of a vector or, which is 2 times the i uh, minus 3 times the j and 4 times the k, which means that I can write that as 2 minus 3, 4 if I wanted to. And I'm going to do this every now and then just to, um, you know, keep everybody uh, comfortable with, with the notation. What do I have? I have that the length of or squared, um, or the magnitude of or, is what? Okay, well that's going to be 2 squared, and then I have plus minus 3 squared, plus 4 squared. Okay, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, 
and 4 squared is 16. So that's 29, which means that the length of OR, or the magnitude of OR, is the square root of 29. And I could put that into a calculator if I want to, um, uh, if I wanted to uh, get a decimal number or something like that. Okay, there's a couple of points here to be aware of, okay? Um, for any vector, okay, like this vector uh, v here, it's, the vector v has a magnitude and a direction, but its length is always a positive number. There's no such thing as a, uh, a negative length, and there's no such thing as a length that has a direction associated to it. A vector has a length and a direction, but a length is just a length, okay? And it must be a number which is bigger than one, okay? Um, another thing which is... Um, uh, noticeable here is that say I doubled this vector, okay, say I doubled that vector, okay, well what does that mean? Well that means that I doubled the length of it, okay, um, I've, I've maintained the same direction but I have doubled the length, okay, so what does that look like, okay, um, so if uh, we take two times a vector, okay, well then the length of twice the vector will always be two times the length of the original vector, or twice the magnitude. In fact, that's what determines um, what we mean by twice the vector. And of course, we can do that um, directly uh, in a formula. We could see that that works out just fine. Let's take an example here. Let's say I take the example, let's say I'm going to let v here be equal to what? I'll let it be 3i plus 4j. Okay, so if I wanted to write that in column form, that would be 3 and 4. Okay, now the length of v squared would be what? That would be 3 squared plus 4 squared, which would be 25. 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, so that's 25. Okay, so that means that the length of v is the square root of 25, which is 5. And I, I picked this example to have an easy number, okay? Now, what's twice v? Two times the vector v is equal to two times 3i plus 4j, which is what? Two times three is six i. Two times four makes eight j, okay? which is 6, 8. All I did was double the components, rather simple to do. Okay, and the length squared, that's no, right, 2v squared is what? Well, that's gonna be six squared plus eight squared, which is what? That's six squared is 36, this is 64, so that's actually 100. And you say, oh, well, um, is that not too big? Is that not four times too big? And the answer is, of course, no, because that's the, um, that's not the length, that's the length squared. So, now the length of 2v is the square root of 100, which is 10, which is, of course, 2 times 5. Okay, so... If I um, scale a vector by 2, I double its length, okay, or I double its magnitude. And in fact, if I scale by anything, then I scale the magnitude as well, okay, it's uh, relatively simple to show. But I do want to show you something very important here, which is if we go back to the addition, okay, the length of the sum, which is this uh, red arrow here, is not Okay, it is not the sum of the lengths of the other two arrows. 
okay? Um, I don't think I have a ruler here, but it should be fairly simple to see, okay? If I mark this length here, okay, and I add them together, I end up with something which is actually longer than the red arrow. Um, and that's pretty simple to see here. Um, if the red length were the same length as the blue and the green put together, then I wouldn't have a triangle. They'd be the same. Uh, the blue and the green would have to be uh, pointing in exactly the same direction for that to happen. So in general, okay, the uh, length of a sum is less than the sum of the lengths, okay, and it's only equal when we have um, when we have both things pointing in the same direction to begin with, okay, which means that they're actually multiples of each other, okay. So let's. Uh, Let's um, pause here and then we'll continue. In, I can stop here and we'll continue in the next video and I'll move on to a couple of examples involving uh, three-dimensional ones. Okay.